rattling as you can see when the sun is shining and um, it's not so much today and um, it's a beautiful place and um, it's surrounded by nature and wildlife um, nice and quiet and um, so we enjoy that peace and quiet and that slightly slower pace of life and um, so that's important Lowland life's unique. I think it's, 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 it's completely different. And I think now the way things are going, people want to get away and live somewhere like Rathlin. It's a great place to bring up a family. It's, it's, there's no doubt about it. It, it is. I said, OK, maybe you have your drawbacks, you're restricted with sea or whatever, that rules your life to see. But in this day and age, you've all modern communication facilities. Um, and it does make out of life much, much, much easier. I used to come here camping as a child for my holidays, whenever my dad used to take us over for the two weeks every year. and. Uh, that's about 30 years ago. Now, 20 years later, I'm still here. It's 20 years married, still here. It's not that much different, really. The only thing is you have to be a little bit more organised. You just have to make sure, like, you've got extra stuff in the freezers and, you know, if you want to go somewhere, if the weather's bad, you just need to be a little bit prepared for disappointment. But nine out of ten times, it's not much different from anywhere else. I used to do a lot of day tripping to Rathlin, and then I volunteered for the RSPB way back in early 2000s, something like that. And, uh, one summer's evening, the birds were singing, absolutely silent apart from the birds. What a night. Brilliant. I was lying up in an oil field and I said to myself, this is for me. And that started the whole process. Took a bit of time then, a few years afterwards. Then I eventually made it over, rented a house, worked on a farm. That was it. And there's a certain, um, what's the word, Ins uh, not insularity, but like, um, you know, like a coziness about it, that we're not isolated, we're almost insulated at times, you know. Um, so it doesn't bother me. I think you need to be kind of complete in your own head as well to live in a little place, or in a, any little village anywhere, but in particular on an island, because you're not going to get away very far from anybody. So I think if you're content in your own life and busy in what you do, and I suppose if you can mind your own business for the most part, you know, um, it's a great place to live. There's always the bar. It's yeah. a good place to go. <laughs> Usually um, a good night out. A lot of the islanders like to meet up and meet up and go out for a wee bit of entertainment. See the nice walks, nice. There's not lights to do, and you can always go away. Twenty minutes takes you to the Bad Castle if you want to go and do something more exciting for the night. But we're usually quite happy where we are. Everybody's so kind, and you need anything, you just go to anybody, and they'll help you out as much as they can. I can't see myself going to town or city again. Like it's just I'm finished with it now. I've enjoyed the life so far. 15, 16 years I'm here, so I can't see me going anywhere else.